Honorable Minister, sir, you are welcome. Okay. Honorable Minister, Architect Mark Onnonome Mayor, you are welcome. The Prime Permanent Secretary and the Minister of Works, Dr. Abubakar Kurovamed Oboen, Director Highway Southwest, Eljuna Kabir Abdullahi, and Director of Information, Mr. Pisi Abo. I welcome you all. I especially welcome the deputy of the Honorable Minister, Senator Iyola Mishiri. I welcome, sir. And congratulations on your declaration for Saturday. Father of this question. Mr. Inka Odumakin, you are welcome, sir. And the other members of this entourage, I welcome you all. The purpose for this media interaction is very simple. The Honorable Minister invited all of you to come and see what is going on by the expressway. I will not say much. I will hand over the microphone to the Honorable Minister to speak first before we start feeding the questions. Thank you very much. Just to raise stakeholders, gentlemen of the press, today the Federal Ministry of Wars under my leadership is on a walking visit to the Lagos Ibarra Expressway. Excuse me, sir. This morning, we commence this session from the by the end of the expressway, and we are now at the Shagamu Interchange end of the expressway, where the session for the Las Vegas uh, actually uh, started towards Lagos. And we've seen what they have also done. They made presentation to us. I want to say that the Federal Minister of War is impressed with the progress recorded thus far on this road, and it's as planned. I want to say uh, no delay is being experienced on the road today. Uh, this important express road is being undertaken in line with the federal government aspiration and objectives. And I want to announce also that the federal government, through the federal ministry of work, and indeed through the ministry's transaction advisor, the infrastructure bank, has secured a private finance initiative for the accelerated funding of this project. This is apart from the commitment of the federal government, which amounts to about 50 billion naira on this particular road. The private finance initiative, which is a way of funding critical infrastructure project, is very common in the United States. And it is a novel funding mechanism in Nigeria, because it is part of the paradigm shift we are implementing at the Federal Ministry of Work. And this road is going to be the first road that will benefit from funding through PFI. And we are very upbeat. What that means is that we will be able to complete this road on schedule. Funding will not be the problem. And that is why I'm happy today after the inspection, construction work is going on according to plan. And it's going to be a model for some of our other projects in time to come. So I thank you, gentlemen of the press. Honorable Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me let the Honorable Minister know that uh, there's a powerful delegation from Afeni Ferry here this afternoon. Uh, your right center, Yola Omishuri. Then uh, there's Mr. Shegun Ojo and Mr. Jimmy Agbaji. Uh, you will recall that uh, when you came to flag up this road, Mr. President did say that part of the pressure to get this road done came from Afeni Ferry. And when we visited the president uh, in November, December, we did acknowledge work that's going on on this road and that the need that we want that road work to continue. But since after that time, we have seen all kind of publications that got us worried 
though we saw what was going on on the ground. And that's why we are happy today to be on your entourage, to have this joint in special. And having a look at what's happening on both ends of the road, just like the Honourable Minister, we are pleased with what is going on. Uh, we are seeing a model of how roads should be constructed. Not roads that be constructed that be washed away within three months. Not roads that be constructed and you start driving through gators within a few months. So we are using this opportunity to commend the federal government, to commend the Honourable Minister for the work that has been done, and the contractors, and to appeal to our people that they should bear the inconveniences that may arise while this work is on, while we also appeal to the government, the contractors, to work with relevant agencies that road safety and the rest of them for the ease to minimize the pains that people have to go through while this work lasts. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Uh, Honourable Minister, my colleagues from Venferi, I want to support the Minister and the PR of Venferi, all just said. There are particular issues Mr. mentioned, that is your PFI. PFI coming to work in Nigeria and shows the international acceptability of the present government of today. It shows the international community have bought into the ideas of infrastructure of President Bullock, Jonathan, and Ministry of Works. So this is a really commendable position for us to know in this country. Then the road, the, uh, the bitumen being used is polymer technology. It's the newest and the first in this country. Because of this, the business road, it has really shown that families of work have done very good work before the power was awarded. So you can be sure that it will be completed within 14 months. And I want to thank uh, the minister and the government of Nigeria for this wonderful job. Give us this time, pass out of, of this country. We all are pleased to be here. We are pleased. That's we are about to speak. Thank you very much. Uh, the Honorable Minister, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Director Highways in charge of this Southwest Dawn. So why I said let me also talk to you is to assure you the quality control. We are here, of course, to make sure that, yes, the road is constructed according to the standard condition of contract and according to the specification. We assure you that, yes, of course, as the Honorable Minister said, this is, of course, the only project we have in this country that have this polymer bitumen. We are using it to make sure that, yes, of course, instead of maybe consulting a road to last for 10 years, I assure you, God willing, this one will last for 50 years. Thank you very much. <laughs>